What up my fight fans? I am not 100% current on what's going on as far as I just made a video regarding the missed weight, regarding the brawl, regarding everything that's going on with Hamza Chemaev. But I want to know something guys. I want to ask you guys something. Do you think they're going to actually give this fight to Tony Ferguson? I was going to do a video about Tony Ferguson in the leech and how Tony Ferguson can actually win that fight or maybe if he's going to lose that fight. I was actually going to let you guys know that. But right now, there is so much going on that we do not know. Is this fight going to continue? Is Nate Diaz going to say, you know what? I don't want to fight at all. Like, hey, you guys breached your contract. I signed a contract for 170 pounds. I signed a contract to fight this guy. I signed a contract on you guys telling me this guy is a professional. He told him. He said it. This guy's a new guy. This guy isn't a professional. This guy is not in my level right now. He is still a newbie. He still has a lot more to do in this game. But yet, you guys gave, what I mean you guys is the UFC gave Nate Diaz the word. Like, no, this is the fight we want you to have. Nate Diaz called so many fights out. He called so many people out. He called Tony Ferguson out. He called professionals out. He called veterans out. Guys who very rarely ever miss weight. I don't think Michael Chandler ever missed weight. I don't think Dustin Poirier has ever missed weight. I don't think Tony Ferguson's ever missed weight. But yet, he, the UFC decided to give them. This really makes the UFC look so bad because we know the history behind this. We know what they were trying to do to Diaz. They're trying to play it off like, oh, no, no, this is actually going to be a good fight. No, you guys wanted Diaz to go off on a loss. You wanted Diaz to go off getting dominated. You wanted Diaz, hopefully, that his name brand was going to get destroyed in this fight. So when he does leave, he doesn't leave with a bigger name than the one he already has. I'm sorry, UFC. I'm a big fan of the UFC. I love the UFC. I never miss a fight. But I promise you, Diaz's name is never, ever, ever, ever going to get destroyed. No matter what. You put him in there with a Francis Nagano gets knocked down in the first round, people are still going to want to watch Nate Diaz. He loses three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fights in a row. People are still going to want to see a Nate Diaz. I promise you, it's not going to get destroyed. Nonetheless, we got Tony Ferguson still on this card. Like I said, I was going to make a video regarding him. I was going to make a video regarding his fight with the leech. But now, but now, with everything that's going on, with Hamza Chemaya missing weight, what does Diaz do? Does he decide, like, you know what? Hey, I said I didn't want to fight you, and he even mentioned this in a recent interview. I didn't want to fight him. I still don't want to fight him, but let's do this. Screw that. I swear I really hope Diaz does not take this fight. I really hope he says, you know what? I didn't want him. I still don't want him. Have him sit down. You just gave me another reason why this fight should have never even taken place in the first place. Give me Ferguson. Ferguson's ready. Ferguson made weight. Ferguson is a guy, one, one of the guys I want to call. He's an OG. He's an old veteran. This is one of the guys I wanted to fight in the beginning. And we wouldn't even have this problem. And you know what even what even sucks even more is that they didn't even stack this card full of welterweights or other guys that could potentially fill in. Maybe a Ferguson, but even then, that's it. Think about it. Is this a watered-down card now, guys? Like, we paid to see a fight. And you literally... Gave us no assurances that we're going to get a Nate Diaz fight. Now, maybe Nate Diaz, we know how gangster he is. Nate Diaz is someone that's going to be like, you know what? Screw this. I don't care. He wants to come in at a fucking heavyweight. Bring him in as a heavyweight and I'll still fight him. That's how gangster he is. Not, much, not a very business smart move. Let's go in there and fight somebody that's good. Like, not good, excuse me, Hamza Chamayev is good. But let's fight someone like a Tony Ferguson who actually deserves a big payday like that. You know, he is giving it his all, literally. Tony Ferguson has been in this game for a very long time. A very, very long time. Um, I believe since what, tough? I want to say, what, like 13, 14? When he fought, when he was with her with Brock Lesnar as a coach. So guys, like, yeah, that Tony Ferguson deserves this payday. Tony Ferguson deserves, he should have had this. You know, Justin Poirier has had big paydays. Uh, Michael Chandler has had big paydays. But Tony Ferguson very rarely got him. He is by far one of the most unlucky guys in the UFC. Five times to face Khabib for the title. Five times for an actual title. He got interim and he won the interim, but never was able really to ever with, uh, been able to go against the actual UFC title. So now, this could be his title. This could be his chance to be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to make my name even bigger from a Nate Diaz. And Diaz actually respects him. So 
that's something I really feel really strong that they should do with the Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson, Nate Diaz, you guys cannot tell me you do not want to see that. You guys cannot tell me you would rather see a Hamza Chemayev and Diaz over a Tony Ferguson and Diaz. Tony Ferguson is a gamer. Tony Ferguson is a gangster. Tony Ferguson is a brawler. He will straight up come in and he will scrap and fight you until there is no fight left in him. Just like a Diaz. Diaz does not quit. Um, Tony Ferguson does not quit. You have to knock him out or you have to make sure that referee stops that fight. Just like the fight in Justin Gaethje, they had to fight. They had to stop that fight with Tony Ferguson because he was getting beaten too bad. Just like they did with uh, Jorge Masvidal and Nate Diaz. You could uh, with Michael Chandler knocked Tony Ferguson out, even though Tony Ferguson was doing good. Just Josh Thompson knocked uh, Nate Diaz out. So if you look at it, look at that armbar that Charles Oliveira. This, uh, the UFC lightweight champion, let's face facts, he is the UFC lightweight champion. He has stopped literally everybody. The last person he could not stop was Tony Ferguson. Again, guys, there is no quit in Tony Ferguson. That's why this fight would be amazing. This is a fight they should have put together in the first place. Five rounds, Nate Diaz, Ferguson. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.